up and I said, are you busy tonight? And he said, yeah, I'm getting ready for the wild game dinner. Do you want some tickets? And so now I'm going to this dinner and I don't even like meat. Today we're gonna use burlap to make a wall scroll. Today you'll need a safety pin. It's the easiest way to cut a straight line on burlap. Just find the thread where you would like to cut. Put the safety pin in and gently pull you guys. Don't pull too hard because I have had that thread break. exactly where to cut. Do the same process on all four sides. I feel like I'm gonna go to this and there's gonna be roadkill. And I'm gonna eat weird things. My burlap had wrinkles in it from the folds, so I just took a warm iron and ironed it flat. Jacob, I, I want to take my mom and dad. Can we sneak in two more people? He called me and he said, I got two more tickets. I used Waverly chalk paint and makeup sponges. You really don't need much paint for stenciling. You get a little bit on your makeup sponge and gently tap. Now I will say that burlap is the easiest surface I have ever stenciled on. There was absolutely no bleeding. If this is your first time stenciling, I recommend trying burlap. I heard that they're gonna have beaver and fish. They're probably gonna have Deer meat? Maybe some snake? I don't know. I don't know if this is a formal event. I heard that anybody can go. I heard even prisoners can go. These registration marks are to help align with the different section of stencils. You just put one X right over the other. getting ready to eat. Look at all the people that turned out. And look at all this food. There was elk and bobcat, pheasant and goose. I always tape down the next section before removing the previous section. But I didn't the beaver. I just couldn't. It was in barbecue sauce on a bun. I took one little bite of everything. We're all done stenciling. Now it's time to cut the dowels down to size. I just eyeballed this part. some apple barrel and nutmeg brown to do a fox stain. This is so easy you guys. If you haven't tried it, I recommend it. You just take a good quality baby wipe and a little bit of paint and you just wipe it on and wipe it off and it looks like a beautiful stain. There's no smell and it dries really fast. To interview the chef. What have you? You know, when they were told that we were going to do beaver, I was like, yeah, right. And then it's like, we've done muskrat before, so I, yeah, you know, anything with four legs, I guess. I ran a bead of hot glue along the bottom of the burlap to temporarily hold the dowel in place. 
Do this on the top and the bottom, being careful to center the dowel on the burlap. Then I rolled the dowel up to the bottom of the scripture. And I did the same thing at the top. I ran a small bead of glue along the edge to hold it in place. I got these thumbtacks at Walmart for about 60 cents. I pushed the thumbtacks through the burlap and into the back of the dowel. This secures all layers together so it doesn't unroll. I thought it was going to be roadkill. I just put it on the fork and stuck it in my mouth. An alligator was my favorite. I got this rope at Dollar Tree. I wish I could give you guys a tutorial on tying the perfect knots for this. But I was so confused and such a mess, I called my mom over to help, and we really didn't have any rhyme or reason to this. If you have the perfect knot tutorial for this project, please post it in the comment section. If you'd like to stencil this verse, you can find a link in the description below. I forgot to tell you guys, there was one more thing. If you found a, a little BB or a pellet in your meat, you could take it to the guy and he would give you a door prize. I've never been to anything like this in my life. <laughs>